Well, hi. Today I'm working on the house, and I'm trying to get up to this ridge here. It's about 16 feet up, so I need to make a ladder. I don't have one anymore. I was actually borrowing a 30-foot ladder from someone else, and uh, my 20-foot extension ladder is old. It was from a garage sale, and uh, currently it's over there, right there, and it's only uh, extended about 8 or 10 feet at the most. I don't, I don't trust it to go that high. So I'm going to build a sturdy ladder out of wood. I've got some 16-foot 2x4s that actually came out of this house as we were demoing it and redoing it and uh, got a whole bunch of other scraps so to make it really sturdy I'm tapering it I'm making it extra wide at the bottom as you can see and then uh, tapering it to a normal ladder width at the top the only downside to that is that it's slightly heavier because the the rungs at the bottom are a little bit wider than than they might be if, it, if the if the sides were closer together but that's really the only downside and frankly I, I kind of like that because it makes it bottom heavy it's easy to stand up that way and again it's it's wide stance makes it extra sturdy so it can't blow over in the wind and I, I just can't stand rocking around on a, a not very sturdy aluminum ladder so let's get started so it's really simple all I have to do is start out with equal measurements on the bottom two sides. So I've actually already measured two inches, um, both from the inner side here. So two inches from there, that corner up to there. And I've got two drills set up. One is my countersink. Let's see, what size is this? This is 7 eighths inch. And that's plenty of room for both the top of the lag bolts to fit in and also my socket so that I can you know, countersink it go you know half inch or so down so I just have these three inch ones that will go through two two layers of two by fours just fine but I feel much more comfortable having them sunk down in the one that they're grabbing into so that's why I'm countersinking them that's all it takes right there that sound is because this is a hammer drill. So okay, now I've got my other drill bit, and the way I've sized this one is to be sure that it's, I don't want to strip it out. You know, I want to have plenty of room for the, for the lag bolt to grab on its threads. So I've made sure to pick a drill bit that is very slightly smaller than the inner, um, inner part of the shank here. If you were to imagine this without any threads, then you want the, the drill bit to be slightly smaller than that. Okay, so I'll go all the way through. Okay, now just put the lag bolt in. Might as well put this one in too. And I don't have a socket for my power driver that fits, and so I'm just going to do this by hand. Alright, you can see how nice this looks. It's pretty much flush, and uh, I'm confident that the length of that, you can see here, is going down nice and deep. All right, that bottom rung is nice and sturdy. I'm going to go back in later and lop off all of these, cut them off so that they're nice and even. But right now, I find it's going to be easier to just, just put on these scraps and cut them all later because that's easier than calculating the angles that I have right now, which are just arbitrary anyway. It doesn't really matter what they are. They just happen to be there. All right, the next thing to do is just to decide how far apart I want the rungs. So 16 inches is going to be about the right length between rungs. So I'm going top of that new rung to the top of this other one. And 16 inches there. 
Okay, now I'll just drill and screw it in. So when I get to this point, it doesn't matter that it's off a little bit, so I can swing it back and forth. And all I do is just go until I can feel it poking out the other side, line it up to when the point of the bolt lines up with the hole below that I already drilled. All right, well I'm gonna keep on going on this, put in the rest of the rungs, and I'll be back with you in just a sec. So Everett, in homeschool today, wrote a poem. Here's what it says. Little boys like to have fun. They like to run in the sun. They like to jump. They like to swing. Little boys like everything. That's so cute. It's awesome, Everett. Oh, where's mine? Alex, it's in here. You just have to turn the page. Do I read it? Yeah. Okay. Once upon a darn stinking long time, I can't believe this would rhyme. I just could not play. My friend said hooray, and that was a horrible time. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so we learned about the, a few different types of poems today, and the kids all tried their hand at limericks, and Origin wrote one, wrote one too. So it says, farewell to the fresh, fresh ripe tomato, and its compliments to my Alfredo. Sweet picked off the vine, till we see you next time, we make do with russet potato. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Alex is learning vocabulary words and using them in a sentence and decorating them very well. <laughs> and Emmy is looking at pictures of stuff. <laughs> Good job, Anne. Children are learning to rhyme. Boot. Shoot. Good That's job. so cute. <laughs> Good job, Ange. It does the same word. Yeah, it does the same sound, huh? There was a very windy night. It gave poor Lizzie such a fright. She started to cry. She thought she would die. It was a very scary night. <laughs> <laughs> it's real life there. <laughs> Alright, I've got all the rungs on. Now it's time to trim them up. It's looking good. Time to put it up and square it up. You got it? <laughs> I'll help you. Alright, well you'd think that would be finished, but Every rung is only held on by one uh, bolt, so it could it could be a pivot point. Any one of those could turn right now. So I've got to do one of two things. Either we double up on the bolts, which would actually weaken the the points here, or we can just put a diagonal piece in, which is what we're gonna do. So buddy, we've got to get one of these long pieces. And that one's broken, so let's see. Yeah, that one will work. Okay, let's look at it carefully to see if it's looking straight, and we'll measure it just to be sure. I have to measure two points. So, we'll say, so that corner to this one, so that's 42 inches. Then we measure from here up to the other corner. Well, that's 42 and an eighth. So, not quite the same, which means this needs to Go that way just a little bit. All right, now we can go on up there and work on adding insulation under the eave there. In no way is this room 
uh, sealed against the elements right now. So that's why we built this ladder. That's why we're going up there right now. And uh, so we've got a lot of cutting to do. A lot of cutting of little pieces of foam that can go up between all of the rafters. And then we'll spray foam it and have a nice completely sealed room up there. It'll make a big difference in our house. Yep. Oh, there we go. We've got scraps of this polyisocyanurate foam. Well, I've gotten a lot done. It's not done yet, but a few projects are done in one day. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me and my family. We really appreciate you watching. Um, if you feel like you'd like to support us, check out our Patreon page. The link is below in the description. We hope you have a really great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. That smells amazing. Yes. Oh, that smells so good. Hi. So usually I would have waited to put these in the winter when we don't have any other things. But I am tired. So this cooks itself in the oven basically. So that's why I picked this. Let's get all the seeds out, guys. Okay. Okay. Mm, you too. Okay. It's easier. Yeah. Is it yummy? Okay, it's hot already. So you don't touch any of those metal parts. Are you having fun helping with the video?